Hola guys, welcome to Starbound. As you can see from the last video, this is going to be a little tidbits type deal. Basically what we're going to look at is we're going to take a quick look at your ship. Now this is the human ship, there are multiple different ships you can get. Uh, fun fact, you can break the background, I don't have anything good enough to break it right now, but you can. You can tear it apart and change the insides, you can't change the outsides unfortunately, uh, but you can change the backgrounds. Now, there are multiple machines in the ship that you will want to be aware of, and those are, first of all, the teleporter, which you activate by pressing E as per everything else. Now, you can warp to your planet, or you can warp to your home, which is a planet you set as your home. You also have your ship storage, which is where you can store up to 64 different items in here, as so, on top of your normal storage and your equipment. Then you have this, this wonderful thing right here. This is your ship's computer. Now by opening this up, you have two options. You have your 3D printer and you have your tech. Now for 3D printer, it's not something you're going to use at the beginning of the game, but you will want to come back to it later on. You can actually put items in this top slot up here, scan it, it'll destroy the item, and it will give you the option to create it for pixels. No materials, just pixels. Obviously they're destroyed, they make that very obvious. Now the other option you can do here is tech. Now these are found in certain dungeons and random chests in different worlds. Uh, you find them more in beta worlds and so on and so forth. Uh, but what you can do with these is you can actually get like a double jump or sprint. You activate them by locking them in. And then in here you have one, two, three, four, and you can pick which one you want individually. Now I don't have any on this character because it's a new character, but I'm sure you get the idea. Now the other thing that you can do on the ship, you do have your door here or you can just get rid of the door like I like to do because it's annoying for me. Uh, the other thing that you'd have is your fuel meter which you can fill up by placing stuff in these different uh, different slots here like this. Now these don't actually count as fuel so it's useless but you can do that. You fuel it. Now it used to take unrefined wood. Now you need to do coal. Fun fact you can turn unrefined wood into coal. I believe or charcoal or something. And then you have your pilot seat. Now this is how you navigate to different planets. Now the way this works is you have system, like you have your planetary system. So you have your main planet, and you have your small planet. It costs about, I think it's 10 or 20 fuel to go from here to here. And the red marks where you are, the blue marks where you're look selected, and the green marks where your mouse is. If you want to see the rest of the solar system, just right click, and you can see your sun and any other planets and their orbits. Now apparently it costs roughly 1 to 200 fuel to go to any other system. Uh, it doesn't matter which planet, but once you're in this new little planetary system, it costs about 10 to 20 fuel to travel between. Now again, from here, if you want to go back even further and see where you can go, right-click one more time, and you have the option to view basically your entire alpha sector. Now, these cost anywhere between 100 and 200 fuel, or something like that, I believe. I think the other one was 50 fuel to go between systems. This is 100 to 200 fuel, I believe, to go between the different... Uh, systems no matter how far away they are. I could be mistaken on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the way that works. So you can pick one, you can look at its systems, you can look at the planets. In fact, you can even look at asteroid fields and such like that. But you don't have to worry about actually flying there. When you click on it, it just shows you how much fuel you need. The red is how much you need. If you have fuel, the green will show you how much you have. You can also set home and go home. That's a quick explanation of the ships in planet side, or not planet side, sorry, starbound, wrong game. Hopefully this helps you out if you're not sure how to use certain things. Definitely feel to comment and ask, and I'll do my best to make sure that I let you know how things work. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Pin Diego, and have fun.